Hyatt's Dwyer, always, 1776.com. Also, wealthspinning.blogspot.com. Today is July 14th, 2024. Let's talk politics. Let's not get too controversial, but at the same time, discuss an extremely controversial topic, a contentious topic here in the United States. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, in the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to a photo that I believe ends the 2024 presidential race in the United States. In other words, um, the existence of this photo, which is organic, which does not include actors, it's actually happening in real time, it's real. Right? The existence of this photo really makes it impossible for this candidate's political opponents to match it because the photo conveys certain things. Performance under extreme pressure right? that many voters are looking for. Also, it highlights really how this candidate has had really a tough year, right? He's had a lot thrown at him. Civil suits, criminal suits, verdicts against him, and how he keeps showing up in the arena. He continues to be a man in the arena. There's no thought that he's going to give up his candidacy. There's no thought that he's not going to be out in public talking about the direction in which he wants to take the country. Now, please understand, I'm just here not endorsing anyone. I'm not saying this candidate's views are superior to anyone else's, right? All I'm saying is in an election where both major candidates are protectionists, where really, from this seat, his opponent's real strength is to take the positions of who he's running against and then to make the argument that he can put that agenda in in a better way, that he is a better person. In a personality contest, the person who wins is the person who, in a real moment, shows that he is, in essence, a war hero, right? That he has composure under fire. Now, again, we're not making a normative decision here. I'm not telling you what should be. I'm just talking about what is, right? The photo is of candidate, former President Trump, bleeding from his ear, secret service around him, right? He's just gotten off the floor, <clears throat> literally gotten off the floor after getting grazed with a bullet that drew blood. The blood, of course, is now coming across his mouth. Right? And at a moment where, by chance, and it's a real photo, it's by chance, in a moment where there is an American flag overhead, the camera catches Trump making a fist to assure his audience, the people who came to see him speak, that he's still alive. Right, folks, it's a powerful photo. It's so powerful that Trump doesn't have to refer to having gotten past 
being shot at, being grazed by a bullet, right? It's the kind of photo that you hear about in wars where you see a war hero. Think Dwight D. Eisenhower. Think John F. Kennedy, right? And you look at the guy and you just understand you know, wow, he was involved in D-Day. Wow, he was involved in PT-109. Um, whatever the guy looks like, you understand this guy has been through hard times. And that guy has the glow that comes from, again, composure under fire. Rightly or wrongly, whether you're a Democrat, a Libertarian, a Communist, a Republican. Right? What this photo shows is Donald Trump under fire, literally, under fire, and responding in a way that connotes composure under fire. Right? It, it conveys leadership. Now, the Dems are about to have, in my opinion, an open convention. I am sure there's a group of insiders who have their favored candidate. I do not believe it's Kamala Harris, right? I believe the Dems are going to allow people to throw their names in a hat. I believe you're going to have a lot of surprises. We haven't had a convention like this in several election cycles. Uh, some people will be returning to the limelight. I would not be surprised if Hillary Clinton's name is thrown in the hat and if there aren't some longtime Democrats who feel that she got more votes than Trump the first time, um, she is someone who has stood for abortion rights, which is a big issue this election cycle. Um, we're talking about Michelle Obama uh, somehow keeping Barack Obama close to the Oval Office. Well, here you have Hillary, who's married to the last president to actually balance the budget, which is a big issue in this election cycle. Bill Clinton, you have the two-for-one argument there as well. You have a lot of stars, a lot of promising Democrats who have excellent records, who might not have the national profiles, but understand the Dems do have some talent. The governor of Maryland right now is Wes Moore, right? Josh Shapiro is the governor of Pennsylvania. Jared Polis has done an interesting job and the crypto community knows him He's the governor of Colorado. Now, in an open convention, you would imagine there'd be a lot of excitement. You would have a lot of people pushing for new faces, and you would have the public, the general public, learning about the backgrounds of the various players. Then, of course, there would be a celebratory feeling when the party coalesces about around whoever it picks. You're not going to have that now with the Democrats. The Democrats aren't going to look inspirational. They're going to look confused and disorganized because you have this photo. Because you understand the guy they're running against who's been in court. Let's remember his campaign. He's a guy known for getting out in front of crowds, which is where he was when he got grazed by a bullet here. But we all understood that he had to be in places like New York, defending himself in countless lawsuits. You know, some of the lawsuits, you couldn't really figure out what they were about. The Stormy Daniels lawsuit, the criminal prosecution, right, for more than two dozen felonies. Right, given that NDAs are legal, um, you know, it takes a while to understand that that lawsuit's really about campaign reporting fraud, right? Um, the most preposterous lawsuit I know of is where 
He takes out a loan. He repays the loan. The bank shows up at trial and says, we did our own due diligence. We didn't trust his loan documents, but yet he was found civilly liable for tens of millions of dollars on a loan he already repaid. Right? We understand that Trump has been through the type of fire that whoever is the Democratic nominee will not have been through. Right? We all understand that. And now he's been shot at. And in a moment of absolute terror, I'm sure when the Secret Service pushed him to the ground, there were some in the crowd, the live crowd there, who did not know how badly the president had been hit and who thought that this could be it. He might have suffered mortal wounds. Right, let's just say in that moment, Trump making a fist, right? They get him off the floor. Trump says, let me get my shoes. The camera snapped. A PR person couldn't have had a scene that connoted strength under fire, that had an American flag in the background. Folks, that's what you have. Right? That's what you have here. I'm just telling you that photo is going to suck all the oxygen out of the room. The problem, too, is you can have a very savvy, very intelligent new face representing the Democratic Party this election cycle. Let's say it's Westmore. Right? Westmore is excellent. Excellent in terms of his word choice, how he portrays himself, his humility. Um, the problem is you're not going to know him as well as you know Donald Trump right now because Trump's already served four years. For crying out loud, we know how Trump reacts when he's bleeding after getting grazed by a bullet and he's getting off the floor after several people are on top of him. Right? Make no mistake, there's panic in Butler, Pennsylvania. There's panic. But Trump makes a fist. Jeff Bezos is not a Trump ally. Right? Trump and Jeff Bezos have had their differences in the past. Let's put it that way. Right? Bezos believes that Amazon missed out on some government contracts in part because of some kind of personal vendetta that Donald Trump had against him. Just understand that Jeff Bezos saw Donald Trump raise his fist and even Jeff Bezos, a Trump critic, had to compliment him for his reaction. So take a look at the photo for legal purposes, the best I can do is post a link to it. Take a look at the photo. Realize that that's not out of a movie. That's not scripted. A political consultant did not come up with that photo. That's taken at a moment of absolute panic, absolute terror. People wondering how badly hit is the President of the United States. Right? Look at that photo. And then ask yourself the basic question after, quite frankly, the year Trump has had, where he's been in court and, you know, he has lost multi-million dollar judgments in more than one case. Look at that photo, and in the comment section of this YouTube video, tell us if you think anybody can beat him in this election. Right, folks? I don't. Right? Understand, I have not voted Republican or Democrat in a presidential election for a few election cycles now. 
right? I'm not here talking as a partisan. I'm just here talking as an observer. Who beats him? Tell us in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.